Today I'm talking about building a website for non-web designers. Good morning guys. Today on Tip Tuesdays I'm going to be talking about building a website for non-web designers. This actually came by as a request from somebody. They sent me a message on Instagram and said, hey, how do I go about you know, building my first website. Uh, I don't have any HTML skill and I need to know where to start. Basically, there are three main things you need to focus on initially when you want a website. One is your domain name, which is the name people type in to get to your website. Two is where is your website gonna live? So where is that domain gonna point? And then lastly, how are you going to generate your website for people to see, which would be the platform. So just to repeat that, it's the domain name, the hosting and the platform in which you will, um, you will build your website. You don't need to know HTML at all anymore to be able to build a website. This is for the person who has built up a social media profile and wants to start blogging, small businesses, models, artists, designers who maybe are in more traditional fields and don't know how to code and don't know where to start for the average person to get a website. So hopefully this is a solution that'll work for you. The first thing that we should focus on is the domain name. You can get a domain name from places like GoDaddy or you can register a domain name at the host or at the platform site that you end up using. Domain names that I recommend to always try and get a .com because it's international. But if not that, either your country or a variant. There's a lot of people who use .us, us, .me, me, .co. I would you know, encourage those. But I would always say, if it's a personal brand, you should try and either use your name or use a variant of your name, something like the handle that you're using on social media. If you can get your name like it is on social media, here's an interesting way that you could show your stuff. You, you could very much do something very similar to what I've done here, which is put your name the at sign in front because that says social media and then you can point out that social media. You can then point out that that piece there with the .com is your website. And then lastly, before the at symbol, you can put your name or whatever your email um, address is. So mine is hello. So I've got hello at craigjamison.com, which is my email address. It's a great way to frame these different things and I, and I share that on a lot of my presentations and things like that. Unfortunately, I don't have all the social platforms, so I can't do things like Twitter and LinkedIn and so on because I used to identify myself by using the handle DigiGuru and I no longer use that. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people with the same name as me in the world. If you can get it, get it. Otherwise, find a really good, sensible alternative that is either a variant of your name or your brand or your social media handle or something like that that you can kind of just leverage everywhere and it's just easy for people to remember. Of course, a lot of the time people will be finding you on Google searches and so on, but it is nice when you have like a consistent theme there. I mean, it, that is great branding. The next thing is you're going to want to host that domain somewhere. It needs to point somewhere. That's also where you will then put your website. So you need a hosting package. I use a company called Media Temple. They're a great uh, hosting provider that have, you know, hosted sites for the likes of Sony and Nike and, and brands like that and really supported the design community. Find a host like that, but there are plenty of hosts out there that will fit your budget. The next thing is you actually get solutions that are a host of your site that already comes with the platform you require. And this is where kind of the second thing and the third thing that I'm talking about hosting and platform kind of can come together. And this is what I would encourage most people to do for their budget. Go to either wordpress.com or go to squarespace.com. Both of these are really great hosted platforms. The WordPress one is free. 
and you can get a trial on Squarespace to test that out too. I would encourage you to use Squarespace though. WordPress would still require you to do a lot of customizing, adding a theme, uh, adding plugins. You know, you might even still have to use a little bit of HTML to really get the desired results that you want. But it is a great solution and I can vouch for using WordPress because I actually host my own site and I use WordPress on there and then I built my own theme, which I use for my site. But the best alternative that I can think of has to be Squarespace. The beauty of Squarespace is that they have amazing templates designed by some of the best designers in the world. Then the platform is hosted on their own servers. So when you pay a fee, you're paying for both the platform that you publish on and the hosting. So it's an all-in-one solution. And the nice thing is you can also register a domain name, which, well, you can register a domain name. Let's get a sequence right. Sequence, right. Get the domain name, hosting, the platform. Domain, host, platform. Those are the three things you need to build your first website. There are some big name actors that have endorsed Squarespace. There are a lot of YouTubers and um, people out there who also get sponsored by Squarespace and they all use Squarespace now. And the truth be told, I've considered using Squarespace as somebody who can build websites because they've already taken all the work out of it because firstly, their templates are of such a high caliber. I personally don't have the skills anymore or the time to code a site at the level of which they produce a site. And then the other thing is that it's just so easy. It's hosted, it's secure, all the updates come all the time. And so it's a really great solution. I would highly encourage you to use a site like Squarespace. I'm not sponsored by Squarespace. Unfortunately, don't have a discount code or anything like that to offer. And I hope someday that I can. But for now, you can have a free trial. It is a great platform. Don't have to worry about anything. One of the other bonuses about using Squarespace is that they've already considered what I would give you as design advice. They already have beautiful themes that are elegant and current. They, they're what people want now. They give you a variety of options, no matter what type of maker, creator, vlogger, influencer, or anything that you are, they've got an option for you that will fit. It's the right type of template for you to use. Most of their themes are really quite minimal, which is, you know, a huge trend right now to be simple. Simple means it also loads quicker. So there's a great advantage there. Then the next thing is that they've thought about the scalability. So they've thought about what does this website look like when it's on a desktop computer, when it's on a tablet and when it's on a mobile phone. Design advice I would give you is always go mobile first. And what does that mean for you? If you use a platform like Squarespace, you don't really have to think about it, but what you should be thinking about is how do you put content in there? The reason why I'm telling you to do this is that a mobile phone is a screen that big, a desktop is a screen that big. You can fit a whole lot more on the desktop, but it doesn't look so good on a mobile phone without scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And that's not so much fun. What I would encourage you to do is to write short, micro copy little chunks of text that are sharp and punchy and, and get the point across to don't add too many images to your pages you don't want heavy downloads don't slow your site down with too many images and too many plugins and things like that so those are my two design tips that i would give you and squarespace helped you with that i hope this will encourage you to start your own website and gives you the tips you need to at least point you in the right direction. If you found these tips useful and you put up a website, please be so kind as to just leave a link in the comments below. If you have any questions, please ask away. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.